President Obama, tell us a little bit about his decision making. How in the weeds is he? How specific is he? How more focused is he on the horizon? What are the mechanics of how he decides that? Uh, uh, he's, well, I'd say a couple things. One is that in the, in the paper discussion <laughs> vectors, uh, he, he reads the briefing material, comes prepared to meetings, starts his meetings on time, usually sets the table, and then he likes to be, he likes to push and be challenged. Uh, and we'll include everybody. If, if, there's a, if there's a relatively large group of people around the, around the table, he wants input from everybody. They're, they're generally not kind of silent partners at the, at the table. He wants to hear from people. He draws them out. Uh, and then he wraps the meeting with, with decisions. So I think that uh, he's, uh, and he's got strong views, obviously. So he'll come in, but he'll usually, in, in, in these meetings, and in my experience, he'll start having digested whatever had been prepared as the briefing uh, and say, here's how I'm thinking about this. Uh, and then there's a give and take. People are challenged. That's good, because I think it gives clarity to what people's ideas and wishes are. Uh, and, and you know, he famously likes to uh, talk to people uh, and wrap things uh, at night as he's in the campaign. And, and uh, I think he'll, he'll continue that process. Uh, going forward. And as I work, what does he do with that? Um, you know, he'll, he'll in, in the campaign, you know, he would do a nightly conference call, but I think he'll, at a minimum, talk to, to Ron and, you know, and, and some of the other key senior people uh, to make sure that, uh, that that whatever was expected to be done that day <laughs> happened that day, or if it didn't, why, why it didn't, and, you know, how to adjust it for, the, for uh, the next day. Really, I think that the success of the campaign uh, was that that he was able to work with a group of people who, you know, the famous uh, uh, were, were, uh, were collegial, uh, kept it in the circle, uh, knew what they were supposed to do, and they were good at course correction. And I think that just these first 24 days have proved that he's, he's got a pretty that hand and when he needs to uh, change and correct, uh, whether that's in the public messaging or uh, sometimes in the, on the substantive side, he's very able to do it, admit that he screwed up, as he said, uh, on a, uh, you know, once in a while and just move forward. So I think that he's, uh, uh, he's uh, uh, David Gergen coined the best expression I've heard about his personality, which is Aloha Zen. Uh, I wish that I had brought that up. Uh, but I'll, give, I'll give David the credit. And he, he's just calm. He's a, he's a sharp decision maker. He's forward. And what is no drama Obama a reference to, and how did that originate? Uh, he, he really hates uh, uh, people uh, knifing each other. And I think that there's a, the, he demands a sense of, uh, of uh, uh, honor and loyalty amongst his staff and doesn't, doesn't like any kind of carping on the outside, uh, and people, you know, Washington has a tendency for people to take their, their grudges out uh, in public on the newspaper, usually with an anonymous quote. That's a very, that's a very big no-no in Obama land. And look, I think, that as you see with the assembly of his team and his, his approach to uh, Republicans on, the cap on Capitol Hill, uh, he's a guy that, you know, doesn't hold grudges, and I think that's good for the country.